Good morning ladies and gents, back with another Conqueror's Play video. This time around I'm going to be doing a very quick guide for the new PvE event. Now, this is my first time actually editing a video on Premiere Pro. I am very quickly trying to learn this software as well as After Effects. So if you know anybody that does any tutorials, decent tutorials on either of them, please let me know down in the comments below because I am trying to learn both of these programs very, very quickly. But... The new PvE event is a bit of a defend the base kind of uh, mode which does give you some decent rewards. Gives you two uncommon doctrines and you can do this twice a day for a maximum of four uncommon doctrines or uh, uncommon wisdom sorry, per day so it's definitely worth doing because it will give you some materials for the new alchemy system. Now a few people have kind of voiced that they're kind of not too sure how to play this mode uh, so I'm going to quickly guide you through it. This is gameplay footage captured of my very first match which a very close uh, game, it came very close to me actually winning or losing this. I only let a couple of people through in the end but I set up so many archers and then I didn't actually realise that we don't have a uh, unlimited amount until after I set all those up. So I'm just going to chop and ch change the uh, video as we're going through and you'll be able to see what I mean by that. So, as we are going through the video, you will be able to see that there are different flags at different possession positions around the map. Now, these will give you a chance to spawn a unit. You have no direct control over this unit. They will act upon their own and they will attack stuff when it gets near them. Obviously, melee stuff will need, or melee units will need stuff to get even closer to them compared to archers. However, I noticed that with the crossbow units, at least, they will only fire in one direction. So be very aware of this. Now, the flags will give you a choice of units. You'll have two units to choose from or you will be able to switch those choices. However, you only have a limited amount of switch choices per uh, game, so just be very, very careful of these because these do not refresh. Your overall deployment limit will actually refresh after stages two and five. There are six stages in total, and the sixth stage will spawn a few bosses. Now, they don't count for anything more if they go past the baseline right at the end, which you are trying to defend, so don't worry too much if they do manage to get past you but it is quite an interesting mode and it is very dependent on how well you set up your kind of units there is quite a nice kind of element to this mode because it will actually show you how to set up units properly and what works what doesn't work and you can transfer these skills knowledge and experience over to territory wars so setting up shields with then a line of four brushes behind them with then some ranged units really works really well in this mode you as a hero will not do any damage at all so it's pointless even getting off your horse to be honest um, all of the damage done is by the unit so make sure you are choosing the correct units obviously you want range at the back you want the melee at the front you want big shield units at the uh, the forefront and then decent damaging melee units just behind them you do get a choice between blue units, purple units, and gold units. Obviously, the choice is total RNG on two of my uh, flags on the second game that I played. No recording of it. But of two of the uh, flags, I actually had Siphonores or the Flamers spawn and... <sighs> It wasn't great to be fair because they got absolutely melted because they were right at the front and as soon as my shields died they got absolutely destroyed however did do a fairly decent amount of damage just think about kind of what you are doing you've got a little bit of time before the first wave spawns and then you've got a little bit of time in between each wave after you defeat a wave like i said you will get extra units after stage two and stage five six stages in total really really try and think about what you are doing you want to slow the enemy down for your ranged units to then kill them or if you are preferring melee units then you want to be setting up shields fort brashia all that kind of stuff in positions where they're going to do loads of damage not let a lot of stuff through and to be fair you are going to have to use some ranged units because there seems to be a really or at least when i played there seems to be a lot of ranged units that actually come into the rng of this like i had more ranged units and I don't have melee units in my choices so it's uh, you're gonna have to really think about what you're doing you're gonna have to really kind of play them 
well together, synergize them well together. Like I said, you as a hero will be doing absolutely nothing. So it's all about your units. I think it's up to 15 people that you can actually let through the baseline at the back of your base. After my first game, I then played a second game and didn't let anything even into the little compound of my base because I actually understood what I was doing then a little bit better and I managed to actually deploy units which worked really really well together and absolutely smash the enemy. Like I said, bear in mind you do get a certain amount of change unit options, you do not get these refreshed after stages 2 and 5 so just be very mindful of that, you will only get an increased deploy limit. That is pretty much for this though, let me know your kind of combinations of units that you have found worked best. Hopefully you can give me some feedback on my editing and everything on this as well. Obviously I haven't done too much editing, I'm still learning this program, I've only been using it today so really trying to get to grips with this. Um, thank you very much for watching though folks, I hope you've enjoyed this kind of little mini guide into the new event, hopefully it will be staying, it's quite a fun little event. Hopefully the rewards will get improved though because I think they could do with a few more rewards. The mode doesn't take too long to actually complete and get through but still some more rewards would be quite nice. Thank you very much for watching though folks and as always I hope to catch you out in the battlefield.